Welcome to lesson 43 of course 2. In this lesson we're going to convert decimals to fractions, fractions to decimals, percents to decimals, decimals to percents, fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions, and lots of other stuff. Mixed numbers, decimals, you can have a lot of fun with this. We're going to have a lot of practice on this. This is an important skill to have. We don't have any new vocabulary, so let's get started. To write a decimal number as a fraction, we write the digits after the decimal point as a numerator of the fraction. So we have point 38. We write the number after the write the digits after the decimal as a numerator. So we can do that. For the denominator fraction, we write the place value of the last digit, which is hundreds. And then we'd reduce so 0.38 would be 38 over 100, 19 over 50. That's how we do it. So let's let's get into this. Let's get started. All right, so write 0.125 as a fraction. I'm going to do this one for you so you can see again another example how to do it. The digits 1, 2, 5 form the numerator. So we put them on top, and then we see that there's the 5 here is in the thousandth spot. So we put it all over a thousand, and then we take that number and reduce it down to one eighth. That's how we would convert a decimal of 0.125 into a fraction of one eighth. Mathia rode her bike 11.45 miles to the lake. Write 11.45 as a mixed number. Okay, so you know from the previous slide that you're going to write 45 over 100. But what do you do with the 11? Well, the 11 is a whole number. So just go ahead and pluck that right down there in front of it. So you'd have 11 40 fifths, which you would then reduce down to 11 and 9 twentieths. So don't let the fact that there's a whole number in front of that throw you off. Just do what you just do what you've learned. So it's 11 40 fifth 100. So reduce that down to 11 and 9 twentieths, dividing both by five. All right. So to change a fraction into a decimal, we perform division. So if we got a fraction of one fourth, then we're going to divide one by four. And when we do that, we're going to get 0.25. I think most of us know this, uh, just mental math, but you won't know it on the harder stuff. So the same fractions convert to repeating decimals. So if we had one third, then we'd divide one by three and what we'd end up with is 0.3 repetend to show that it'd be 0 0.3333333333. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Every fraction of whole number converts to either a terminating decimal like 0.25 or a decimal with a repetend. Let's look at this problem here. This is a probability problem with a little bit of twist. It wants the answer in a decimal. So find the probability the spinner stopping on five. So our our favorable outcome, there's only one five, is going to be one, and our total outcomes are five, so one fifth is going to be our probability. Now we need to show that instead of a fraction, we need to show that as a decimal. So one divided by five is how we're going to do that. And when we do that, we get 0.2, because five goes into ten two times, we bring our decimal up, 0.2. or 20% if it asks for, for percentage, 0.2 would be 20%. All right, so let's try a few of these. Write each of these numbers as a decimal number. See if you can do it before I do. Pause the video if you have to. So A, A is 23 over 100. That's going to be 0.23. This we do just the reverse of what we learned to, to how to turn it into a fraction, we reverse it. So we take the numerator, and we put it behind a decimal and we get 0.23. For B, we go, we divide 4 into 7. So 4 into 7 goes in one time. 4 gives me a 3. Decimal's there. 4 goes into 30. 7 times. 28 gives me a 2. So 1.75. Let's see if that's right. Yep, 1.75. On C, 3 and 4 fifths into a decimal. 
Well, the three we know is going to go right out in front, and then the uh, the four fifths is going to be five four divided by five, which is going to be 0 0.8 because five goes into 48 times. So I think that's going to be 3.8. There it is, excellent. And then two thirds uh, is two divided by three, and Third decimal right there. Three can't go into twenty to two, but it can go into twenty-six times. That's eighteen. That gives us a two. That's six times. That's eighteen. That gives us a two. So it's point six. Repetend. Point six. Repetend. There we go. All right. Great. I hope you're able to do those. You're gonna see a lot of them on your upcoming math. So if you didn't understand it, go back, do it again, try it on your own. Let's try another one. Three tenths is what compared to 0.3 repetend? Well, our three tenths we know is just going to be point, 0.3, and our repetend is going to be 0.33. So which is bigger, 0.30 or 0.33? Well, the 0.33 is bigger, so that's how we're going to do that. Write each percent as a decimal number. Okay, A is going to be, and one is a decimal, it's going to be, so A is going to be 0 0.25. B, 125%, it's going to be 1, is going to be the 100, 0.25, because 25 is the 25%, right? 1.25. C, 2.5%. Ooh, how do you write that? Well, if you write 25% as 0.25, 20% would be 0.2, 10% would be 0.1, so 2% would be 0 0.02, and then we just add our 5. So 0 0.025 would be 2.5%. 50% is going to be 0 0.50 or 0 0.5. 7.5% is going to be like C over here. We're going to go 0 0.0, and then our 7, and the 5 is the half, 0 0.075. And then F, 300% would be 3.0. Let's look at our next ones down here. 0.24 says change each decimal to a reduced fraction or to a mixed number. So 0.24 is going to be 24 over 100, which is then going to reduce down to 6 over 25. All right, let's take a look at B. B, we're going to have the 45 out here already. You already know that. Then we have 6 over 10. So we reduce that 6 over 10 down to 3 fifths. So you're going to have 45 and 3 fifths. And then C is going, we've got our 2 out here. And then 37 and a half. So you can go 375 over 1,000, and when you reduce that down, that's going to reduce all the way down to 3 over 8. So 2 and 3 eighths. you got to be able to do this. Don't skip this. This is important. Okay, see if you can do H, I, J, and K on your own. See if you can get it before I do. I'll show you the answers here in a minute. Stop the video if you need more time. Convert each percent to a decimal. Okay, eight percent. That's going to be point, point zero eight. Twelve and a half percent is going to be twelve point twelve five. Point one two five is twelve and a half percent. One hundred fifty percent is going to be one point five zero, and six and a half percent is going to be point zero. Six and a half is a five point zero five or zero six five. I'm sorry. There you go. All right. There's your problems. Do 11, 15, 21. Submit them tonight. Bring your questions tomorrow. You got to get this down. You got to know this. Thank you.